Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today I'd like to talk about um, Linux Mint and installing system tray utilities, just to provide a little bit more information to you about your system. These all have a use, they, uh, they have a purpose, and I'll show you how to install them. Now, we're going to open up a terminal. That's the easiest way to do this. And we're going to install all of them at the same time. Okay, so it's sudo apt-get install. It's going to be redshift-gtk, p-sensor, clip it, synapse, and solar. And I think all of those are available. Yes, they are. So we're going to let those go ahead and install. It won't take long. We're going to find most of them in our accessories panel. So if we go to accessories, there you will see clip it is the first one. Click on that and then click yes. And the icon is going to show in your system tray. Now clip it is a clipboard manager. So every time you every time you save or you copy and paste it's going to save it there so that you can go back to it if you need to the next one is redshift now redshift needs to know where you are in order to set the screen color for your latitude and longitude now redshift um, it looks like it did not pick up the location so we're gonna have to set it manually and I'll do that in a second the next one that we should have on our list is synap uh, solar so do you see solar now solar is a utility that will keep track of the charge on your Logitech devices. So if you're using a Logitech cordless keyboard or cordless mouse, it will keep track of your battery levels. Now you can see this icon right here. It says, it just told me that it identified my Logitech uh, receiver, but it needs to configure itself to it. So when you, if you have a Logitech cordless keyboard or mouse, you'll have a little dongle, USB dongle, that says Logitech. Just, you want to unplug it and then plug it back in, which is what I'm doing right now. You see the icon will change to show me my battery life. If I click on it, it's going to show me my wireless trackball and my keyboard. It's going to show me the battery levels. So that's an easy way to keep track of your battery levels on your Logitech devices. The next system tray utility will be Synapse. Now Synapse, click on Preferences, click on Startup on Login, then close it out. So that way the system tray will be, the system icon will be in your system tray when you start up, every time you boot. Now, we're going to double check the startup folder or your startup programs just to make sure everything is there. The last one we're going to add is under system and that would be P-Sensor. P-Sensor is a neat little program. It keeps track of the temperatures within your system. So if I click on preferences, click on startup, launch on session startup and hide window, restore window position and size. So if I bring this if I bring this down here to the bottom right, I'm going to click OK. Now you can see my CPU temperatures my graphics card temperatures and fan speeds so my memory temperatures it's got a lot of useful information I'm gonna close that out there's the icon in my system tray now 
I mentioned that Redshift did not activate properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my control panel, click on Session and Startup, click on Application Auto Start. Now here is where I want to make sure that all of the things I want to start up when I boot my machine are checked off. Now you can see Redshift is not checked because it didn't go through its proper configuration. So, and since it did not know my latitude and longitude, normally it does, but in this case it didn't, I'm going to have to add that to the command. This gets a little bit complicated. I'll, I'll, I'll go slow so you can understand what I'm doing. So click on Redshift, make sure it's checked, and then click on Edit. The command to start Redshift is here, Redshift GDK. But as you saw before, if I go under Accessories, that command isn't working properly. It's not picking up my latitude and longitude. Now Redshift adjusts your screen temperature as the day gets later and you get into nighttime. The way your monitor looks is not the best for your eyesight at night. Redshift automatically adjusts the color temperature of your screen so that it goes easier on your eyes at night. During the day you have daylight but at night you have fluorescent lights and condescent lights. You want to make sure your screen is adjusted properly to, to make the, the screen itself easier on your eyes. And if you don't use Redshift the experts say that the color temperature of your monitor can contribute to you having a harder time falling asleep. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Redshift where we're located so that it can automatically make the correct adjustments for our location. So the first thing we want to do, we need to know our latitude and longitude. Now, I happen to know mine you'll have to look up yours but the code to set it up manually is dash now after redshift gdk you want to put a space dash l then a space and your latitude and longitude. So mine is 35.7228. We need a colon and then my longitude is minus 81.3672. Then we need to give it the temperature range on the screen that we would like. Now that's a little bit of experimentation but I'm going to use first of all the code is minus T space and then I'm going to use 3700 and 5500. I'm going to click OK. Now that's going to make sure that Redshift starts and is set up for my latitude and longitude and the correct color uh, that I want. I'm going to give you some more information on this before I close out the video. So let's go back and make sure we have Clip It checked off. Power Manager, as I mentioned, I don't want Power Manager starting when I start the machine. P Sensor is set to start. Redshift, Screen Saver, Solar is set to start. Synapse is set to start. So I think I have everything that I just installed. Clip it, P sensor, Redshift, Solar, and Synapse. Okay, so I'm going to close that out and I'm going to restart the machine so we can see how everything starts up. I'll be right back, guys. Welcome back, guys. So as I mentioned, uh, I rebooted the machine. I've got Synapse, I've got Redshift, I've got P-Sensor, 
I've got Solar and I've got Clip It. Now they're all set to start automatically. They all serve a purpose. Now as far as Synapse, the default is Control Space. It'll bring it up. If you type in the box, I typed F-I-R-E, it'll find the closest match on your system and that will enable you to open Firefox browser. So if I type SOF, it'll bring up Software Manager. So it's a, it's basically a, uh, it's kind of like Spotlight on um, on a Mac. It's an easy search function. You'll find yourself using it more and more to bring up specific applications or specific files. And Redshift, I mentioned to you that. Redshift will adjust your monitor so that it makes it easier on your eyes at night. I'm going to put a link to this Redshift page where you can read through and it explains what it does, why it's useful, and it, it, uh, it gives you some configuration options. Those are all very useful system tray icons, system tray utilities that I use on a daily basis. I hope you get some use out of them. That is it for this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by the channel today, and I'll see you soon. Take care.